Now, I know there are some in this House and in the country who would prefer a closer relationship with the European Union than the one I'm proposing. Indeed, who would prefer the relationship that we currently have and want another referendum which they hope would overturn the decision we took in 2016. Although I profoundly disagree, they are arguing for what they believe is right for our country and I respect that. But the hard truth is that we will not settle this issue and bring our country together that way. And I ask them to think, I ask them to think, no, I ask them to think what it would say to the 52% who came out to vote leave, in many cases for the first time in decades, if their decision were ignored. What would it do to our politics? There are others. And I say to honourable members, I will take a significant number of interventions, but I will make some progress at this stage. These are important points because there are those who want a closer relationship with the EU, but they do need to recognise the message that was given by the 52% who voted to leave the European Union. There are others, there are others in this House who would prefer a more distant relationship than the one I'm proposing. And although I don't agree, I know they're also arguing for what they think is best for our future, and I respect that too. But the hard truth is also that we will not settle this issue and bring our country together if, in delivering Brexit, we do not protect the trade and security cooperation on which so many jobs and lives depend, completely ignoring the views of the 48%. We can, we can shut our eyes to these hard truths and carry on debating between these extremes for months to come, or we can accept that the only solution that will endure is one that addresses the concerns of those who voted leave while reassuring those who voted remain. But this, I will take, I will take a number of interventions in a minute, when I've just finished this, that this argument has gone on long enough. It is corrosive to our politics, and life depends on compromise.